citizens them and the government. And normally, when I say the minister, when a minister chair of life bar, I normally have ghost. But today, because we are the work fine fine one, it delegate say, let me chair this particular one, the host of. So I want to tell and thank you because now the part of the engagement now and then at the for the support of the government. But today, in the usual way, we will start with the normal updates across government on which uh, which don't happen. Then from now on day, I will also introduce the panelists that we will get for can talk on who we will get here today. And after that one day, I will get mm -hmm. questions that we they don't pose. We will not say every time before the press conference, we will put flyers in the mouth and we put link for make sure say people from across the country they set a platform. If you're not physically able to come, for our press conference, make you ask questions. Because everybody in voice matter, and everybody in voice we don't forget. Yeah. Then oh, come on now, we will also get questions from Una. We don't take Una time. I don't have spend time with you today for come participate for this press conference. So I will start with the normal updates across government. The first thing I want to talk about, we all know say on Sunday. His Excellency the President Clef Saloon from Bona, Nairobi, Kenya, for attending the inaugural African Climate Summit under the theme Driving Green Growth and Climate Finance Solution for Africa and the World, where the report for making starts from the 4th to the 6th September. When the President of Kenya, when His Excellency William Muto, Nairobi, Osta, and Nairobi, we get Naya, we Elder Water Elemental and Bossy Wayself, those as Minister of Information before, we now the spokesperson for the President for David Tree for coming with updates mm -hmm. on which they are happening at the Presidency. Mm -hmm. Vice President did also a joining border and a colleague when uh, the President began to for making launch which they call Financing Local Elect Climate Action, when a Kenya initiative for robust climate adaptation efforts in Kenya. In fact, when the president spoke on that program, they are launching the NIC, he said, they look forward for work with the government of Kenya and other development partners for them to formulate similar initiatives we will strengthen we one step across Sierra Leone. The president also joined the border with the president of Kenya for making able to launch what they call the new accelerated partnership for renewables in Africa. Yanda Sef. The president also talks, say this will also echo what's that a collective aspiration for make the scale up action for transform the energy sector and really green economic evolution. The president is dealing also in the whole engagement with Salon people in Kenya. Also, the leadership and management of the Ministry of Finance over the weekend also begins a three-day strategic plan in Tit and Tokyo. We for guide how the ministry for able effectively mobilize and manage public resources where they want for align with government commitments for the people manifest to the big five. And in our stop day over the weekend as well, I mean we get uh, the Mayon Senior, I mean uh, the Lanet Mr. General, but also government and um, through the Ministry of Justice and also Attorney General. And the chief minister that we all exist also for look at the government white paper will be launched some time ago and also look at waiting at the next steps we will therefore do on that day. So that make we can also get the answers to general. And just yesterday Monday, the Minister of Information and Civic Education, when uh, Mr. Chairman of Line Bar, he also do an unannounced visit. Now the Sion Broadcasting Corporation transmitting facilities in the Leicester Peak. We know say yonder and then the old Bokuboku facility them for telecoms, for radio stations them, for TV stations them across the country. If you go there, for go look at how the facility there, what the facility need for make we able increase the capacity and strengthen them 
but also foresee how the global form part of the policy thinking and direction them as we take up office. Also, the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Dr. Elimusa Pata, over the weekend also be engaged from the Matoma Boom as part of his strategy for Fit Sierra Leone. And they also monitor activities there on the regionalized value chain project and the Sierra Abo Industry Cluster project. Now, Boom Chiefdom, now Boom District. You not stop there. The Deputy Minister 2 of Basic and Senior Secondary Education, Madam Mamusu Patisha Masakoy, also he commend teacher them and pupils them for the high turnout we have for the first day of school. We have yesterday, and also if we visit schools them, both the eastern and western area, to see how they are ready and plan themselves for the new 2023 and 2024 school academic year. The Minister of Tourism and Cultural Affairs, Madam Nabila Tunis also, they meet with the management of Miltimagai Technical University, the Faculty of Hotel and Tourism Management, and also inspect ongoing e construction projects that already happen among and across the sectors that within the ministry, but also at the Mitsimagai University. Now, the purpose of this visit will be make, now for make sure say they assess the ongoing enhanced integrated framework projects where they get consultants, where they help them from that work. And I will also end with a press release we come out from the Ministry of Labor, where they tell me say that government will make commitments for promote decent work for Sierra Leoneans. So the Ministry of Labor in June 2022 last year, they will sign a memorandum of understanding with the government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for the recruitment of migrant workers then from Sierra Leone to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Now, because of this memorandum we then sign, the embassy of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, we then get the office in Konakri, Guinea, then they conduct rigorous assessments for many accredit certain licensed private employment agencies then for recruit them migrant worker there, and also that they create three medical centers for conduct the medical examination test where candidates that we put themselves forward for this recruitment will go through. In the press release, they name the four private employment agencies there. The first one, na SOS Global Investment, Sierra Leone, Human Resources Global Consultancy, Sierra Leone Limited, Sumas Traveling Consultancy Agency, Sierra Leone Limited, and Seasons Limited. So there are four agencies there, and the one there with the Ministry of Labor and the government of Saudi Arabia approve for the recruitment process there. They also don't accredit three agencies there for doing the medical tests. We are Ramsey Medical Laboratories, Ecomed Medical Center, and Schumer Hospital. Now the press release they emphasize say only the agency there and the medical center there are the people for deal with for this recruitment process. Now, now the update that there, the summary, and I go one for me I introduce me panelists then. We come for come MPTD for this discussion. Today, like I don't talk about updates, part of which we want to do one focus on how governments they do for strengthening with democratic institutions and with institutions then. And for me, we talk that one day, we get people away, they na this field, whether they are ministers there, na people na senior government officials there, where they work, for look at the Boku Boku thing that we government they do, for see how we go with them in processes, for see how we go able to consolidate with peace and national cohesion and country, and also, importantly, people have experience, the people like uh, we delivered them with three Alpha Khan, for see what thing and the presidency we said we do for moving the process forward. So for start, I go out for introduce to the 
minister when uh, Amala Kalong, when the minister of public administration and political affairs, who can give a general update on how it go for reform with public service and also how they strengthen the state institutions. And also we get Madam Awa Sali Samai, we are the executive secretary for independent commission for peace and national cohesion. We will also can give updates on post-election peace consolidation efforts. We will say after the elections, we concern the delays, the border is and the APC delays of concern them. And first they decide to say, for now, they only take part from governance. But because governments believe in inclusive governance and inclusive participating in democracy, we know Sudan. We will try to reach out and extend all the branch. The president will talk and we will use state opening for say, for dialogue and for talk. And the government outfit and body will be responsible for that. Now the Independent Commission for Peace and National Cohesion, when I make we get the executive sector in Africa, can give updates on what they are We also get now the immediate right, Robert Baumapua Esquire, we are the Solicitor General, we are the principal person when they advise the AG. We also that office they they advise government on all legal matters in the country. And also part of the portfolio now for look at the cautionary review. So instead of then I ask you for can give you updates on the commitment to the government, we don't make that white paper and also the cautionary review process. And like I said earlier, we get now um, Alpha Kano, what we call AK11, for can also give you general updates on the president, see everything, everything that happened, and how president, the one for whom we got before for peace consolidation and national cohesion. So normally we can ask the panelists then for make a general opening statement of eight eight minutes. Who done? We we'll take the four sets of questions then from the link, and then we we'll take questions then also from inside. So I will start for invite the minister Rina Amara Kanon for giving updates on the reform of the public service and also how government ready and plan for strengthening the institutions. So minister. Sir. Thank you very much, uh, um, um, my brother, Minister Musufe um, Teketona. Um, colleagues, all here, I will say colleagues, I will just give us very So we all have to be able to our brothers. I mean, Amara Kalon has been saying the minister responsible for public administration and um, police facilities. So basically, what I can't do now, I'll just give you give um, now um, an overview and so I understand what is happening and who's our work for both. Uh, one, the ministry, the president in Inyon, uh, the president in Inyon uh, prerogative as the, as the president of Sierra Leone, they need to fit that uh, there is a need for the establish a ministry of Ministry of Public Administration and Political Affairs. Uh, based on the context that uh, we, the SNP, will be all the manifesto, the first pillar of the manifesto is saying they want to reform the public sector of and when they win the election, they decide to establish a whole ministry for look exclusively on that particular pillar. And they appoint me for the take of that responsibility for the next five years to come. Well, previously it was the Minister of Political and Public Affairs. So now we are going to a transition for become the Ministry of Public Administration and Political Affairs. Um, I don't want to go into details in terms of waiting at the issues that we will try to address. But let me take you through one. Uh, we don't see the need uh, that uh, the, 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 there is a lot of development activities that will go out, we don't go on in the past four or five decades. And we see in 1948 when they established the Public Service Commission, and the Public Service Commission, we get a lot of responsibility for recruits and the most in terms of the civil service. But over the period, Sierra Leone don't grow. So we get a lot of agencies that we have established away from the public service and also get the civil service. But it don't reach a point in time where the presidency says we need to go back and look at the books, the laws that we establish, 
the institutions can weigh, weigh this and weigh the deliver service for this country. But then we see if really they are well seated in terms of international best practices. And so that's the need for this ministry. So what if we don't do so far, we'll take over. One, we don't need family attorney at all, we don't need all the institutions on the HRMO, we don't visit there with a human resource management office, we deal with recruitment and other things. We don't visit the public service commission. We get the statutory responsibility for the for the public service. We don't visit uh, the public service reform unit. We then reform that Bakaba in turn for reforms to uh, key ministries and institutions in this country. We don't uh, visit the head of civil service and cabinet secretariat because now in the preside over the HRM and the PSC, we don't visit them. We don't get a meeting with the the president. We don't get a meeting with the vice president also. And we still continue to get meetings then for what well, we know. We call that a scooping visit. It's a familiarization and a scooping visit. One, no, what they do. And then we get a first time understanding of waiting, how what they do, and who's out here with them, who's out here partner with them, or we'll make sure they will do the reforms. We don't, so as a result of that, the excellency, the president, we would say this assignment is a big assignment because the whole set of public administrators will go through, including the presidency. So he asked the vice president for that he take two of the key pillars that the manifesto for that to side over. So one is the public administration and job creation. So we don't get the first meeting with the vice president, we don't establish a technical working group. This technical working group includes the HRM of the PSC and all those institutions we need to the the, the, the public administration. The reason behind it, one, we didn't for a start, we didn't forget a vision for this ministry. We didn't forget a mission, but we didn't forget the mandate for establishing. And once we don't do that, then the next thing we do, we need to take those mandates and all the things that we go to cabinet for their cabinet approval. Once cabinet approval, they okay, is it up. Now this ministry become a legally established ministry, then now we can go into full blown activities. Once we don't get that, we will move to the, we move to the next phase, but then we get the, the, the roadmap. Well, we're not in a rush because public administration, not for 10 years or 20 years or one year, you have to take with the next 10 to 15 years for where we go, for where we go because the dynamic things and the change, the world on the common global village, technology, they play a big role. So there's going to be a lot of changes when we go through a lot of reforms. So we need to develop a roadmap. So even if me not in the, I need the one year, two year, three year, if me not in the next minister, we can just respond on that roadmap and continue with Sai, with Sai Middle Storm. So the whole idea now for them we get this whole map. But the ministry itself for established we need also for the management and functional review. As I say, the ministry is political and public affairs, and the transit to Ministry of Public Administration and Political Affairs. So we need for that NFR, we for the management and functional review. We for give the organogram based on the mandate and the vision, we will give the, the manpower we need for, for, for doing activities. The, the office space will be need, the finances who will need, we will finance will provide for me. And that MFR in any inform that. And once the MFR don't complete, don't go through cabinet, don't be better and the new should be established. Um, so moving forward, we 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 also we look at the opportunity for the this whole my uh, roadmap, but they also identify the opportunity. Because government will not do for those before. I can take the whole, the whole GDP of the government is for they do before what they do. So we need to look at funding opportunities, do we know the do we know So the technical working group sits at the office of the presidency, and even tomorrow we'll get the second meeting, we'll do this first critical of the vision, the vision of the mandate. But most importantly, the other issue don't have those office. Now we get two institutions under the public sector. We have the civil service and we have the public service. In the constitution of Sierra Leone, you get the civil service, something we call the civil service. But when you go to the constitution, there's nothing about the public service. The public service section 150, 150, 151, and 152 only talk about an institution and the public service commission. But not talk about the public service. So we need to develop a chapter in the constitution that gives a clear understanding of the public service of Sierra Leone. For now, we just we just we say this institution belongs to the public service, but it's not categorized under the constitution of Sierra Leone. So we also don't get a sort from it we go for that, and we don't begin to sit for draft a, a, a chapter you know, for, for, for that particular aspect of the Constitution. Uh, moving forward, we, 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 we also think of, we get what you call the African Peer Review Mechanism, all this ministry that we put at point and the president and the chair. We don't write them in the and say, we have this responsibility to work with the council, but we really help you to do the reform, we don't agree. 
So one of the big activities with the Canberra School in October, five or six, we did get a multi-stakeholder conference. We had APRM and the OECD and Canada, and Canada and two kids for kind of analysis of the present situation and the public administration, and then we tell them who, which areas they look like gaps in there, which area they will intervene. For now, they want to look at fair learning tests with we, we, we staff and with other countries to do subsidies. See what you are doing with campus and context and share your capacity enhancement and build the local side with them to send the staff then other uh, civil servants. Then we study about new trends in civil in civil service and public service, but also the digitalization system. We want to go e government. So we want to go full blown. In the next two years, the president only we have assignments is alone to go into full blown e government to get the digitalization to lessen the fear and the but the most important thing one thing one most people that want is and everywhere I go, anybody who can have office, they told me they talk about this, Mr. Minister, what about salary organization? Yes. Good, the good is they don't establish the wage and compensation commission. They don't go through parliament, president don't sign, now it's there. There is now a move for them to constitute the body for, for, the, for the commission. But the assignment for achieve that they for harmonize salary get a big, they get a long way for one, we go and get a data set. The data set means the civil servants they will get, the public servants they will get, put them in a different place so that when you give it up the, 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 the commission, the commission will insert into the system and address the grading system and the salary harmonization. But that is ongoing. We also need to talk about one bio identifier. Now we get the pin code from the HRM, we get the NASIS number, we get the NIN, we don't kind of how do we have an identity there so that every Sriveda gets a single identifier and any side you go, they don't need to know you saw me, they don't need to know that you, they just need to enter your number and every time of you they come out, they will do that now for as the data set for my salary scheme. That is not a simple one, but there's a whole lot of things they for doing that we have to take the next two, three years. But as now this is what we are doing. It's going to be tedious, it's going to be difficult because there's going to be a lot of back and forth. But this is what we are doing now to make sure it's the best. We establish the ministry, we establish a roadmap, then we do an assessment of waiting at the present situation in the public administration. Then once we don't get the roadmap now, we can identify a funding opportunities that we will do the implementation. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I must say, this is the area where um, people are interested, especially the um, salary harmonization, which makes some people they get high salary in the same position, but other people they get um, um, smaller salary, low salary, you know. So, Minister will give you further updates during the question time, opportunity for me to discuss. Uh, from that day, we will now come to uh, the Solicitor General. We, we can give you general updates on the government white paper and also for the question review process. Because remember, say this weekend, um, and I cannot say we will be getting six weeks. And it's important because the way out we go able to advance and uh, improve with democracy, that's a lot. Now we will make sure say, we get progressive laws, we get constitution where they reflect the country. Constitution will reflect your aspirations, mm -hmm. the demographic of the, of the population, and also how we want to make the country today and stand in the world. So I will call on Lawyer Kua, Solicitor General, for giving updates on that one day. Good afternoon, now. Um, I think. We will start by going back briefly to the history why we need to a constitutional review. But the one that we know of one that we don't read them and some of the one that we witness them or some of us we are a little bit younger not to understand the gymnastics of the game. This emanates because of the long civil war where we get Nasera Leone. And when we get the Lume Peace Accord, we people know about, 
it becomes a national commitment in that agreement where Parliament approved that we will review the Constitution. And we know after the Lumen Peace Accord, we begin to we call the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, will be set up. We will look into the causes of the war and what is happening to development in Sierra Leone. In them, the EU reports, they also recommend that the Constitution be reviewed. Based on that, after the war in 2007, the government then in power initiates the review of the um, Constitution by a committee we set up when uh, Dr. Peter Tucker be the lead. Dr. Peter Tucker gave the white paper in 2008. And uh, because of time, that white paper action not being effectively taken on that. Come in another government led by President Kuruma. They look into that white paper, review that white paper and come out that then there is need for set up a constitutional review committee comprising wide range of people we really, consists of about 80 participants inclusive civil society, international organizations, reunions, political parties, and the rest. And that committee, the, now a former justice, now this is, the late justice Edmund Cowan, Billy Lam, and he come out with a report. And then he said that out in 2013, and the reports come out in 2016. You know, we have this Ebola intervention and the rest of it. When that come out, the government look into the recommendations and come out with the white paper. And the white paper come out in 2017, due to change of government, implementation of that white paper not go through. Then come in the administration of President Bill. We set up a committee again for looking into the white paper of 2017, and in December 2021, they have come out with another white paper. So we all look at the efforts made throughout the period since 1999 when they signed the Lome Peace Accord to 2023, that is 24 years after the Peace Accord was signed and the recommendations to review the Constitution given. Government still committed to act on that. That necessitates that we have a changing situation for 23 years, coupled with the fact that government, in its wisdom, in different ways, will not take some actions towards the recommendations. So there is all need now for review all of these white papers over the years. The root being the wide consultation with Justice and Monkawan Mindu so that we can come out with a comprehensive review where we go good for the development and the peaceful coexistence of the Ionians. Nobody not there will tell me, say, no, no, say, always, possibly after elections and after some other actions or when elections occur. We all are going for going at the Constitutional Court, going at the Supreme Court of Sierra Leone. And we don't get enough experience from the court because most of the time the court is direct when it's happening the Constitution for we. We the ask yourself if that necessary. Based on court's decisions, all they come into play, the latest being the decision in the um, PR system so that we can, we go able to come out with something we will last we possibly for centuries. Why we feel to say at this time we not just go and implement white paper or they review thoroughly? Because some of the things that we, the just, um, Justice Edmund Cowan recommend, some action we don't take place on them. The not small thing, uh, the government looks in it for this I Constitution per se. Constitution can be the summary of it, but the details 
um, I think it's the way I'm taking actions. And as they say, of recent, the government take some bold action we over the years, previous governments and they don't pay for take. And these actions we are taking cleverly by legislating acts to the effect that you not equally touch what the constitution say, but you comply for the good of Sierra Leone. The abolition of the death penalty, we all realize say, now one thing we've been inside just scouring a recommendation. And now we all will be happy that we have no death, no more death penalty in Sierra Leone because of an act of parliament. We also will be aware say, of because uh, we were there, most of the media people, we don't know the outcry of the life they lost, how inconvenient it may be to them. And when you look at the constitution, some of them things they need, when you go under the freedom of speech, you go under section 27, talking about discrimination and everything, the government don't repeal that life they lost it. And no longer they in existence. Of recent, you will see say, the government, the constitution talk about education. Being, it should be, we may not get a situation where there was a perception that it was a privilege. Now it is a right. Of recent, there is an education act where we all benefit from. Moving towards that, you talk about discrimination. No discrimination, you have the positive side of it, which in some cases could be accepted. But in a bid to empower Sierra Leoneans, especially women, that don't be angled. End of Justice Cowan, we make that recommendation of 30% representation of women. Now we have the Giveaway Act where everybody happy about. Equally, also, you have other legislations where the Constitution talk about some amendments, environment, the Constitution deal with environment, and Justice Kawani recommendation deal with environment. We can boast of the Environmental Act. It is now available. We also have um, the freedom to information. We can boast of those legislation in our laws. So this tell me that gradually there has been actions over the years in trying to make sure things work out based on that recommendation. What do we need to do now? We get to make sure we look at the document who we want to provide for one this country, for let it be in line with the acts and the way they don't pass, so that we can able to deal with things smoothly. We just no need for just do things in haste. This is um, a modern age in which we all see technology don't develop to certain levels. And we may bring with so much issue. We last elections, we go on it by the PR system. How necessary and how advantageous that would be in Sierra Leone in consolidating peace and stability. This was a recommendation then. So this is so far where the law of its don't go with the issue of constitutional review. And that necessitates the meeting for take place on from Thursday to Sunday of this month last, so that we can able get a team, a strong team, we will look at their issues there and try to come out with something again, maybe a white paper or so, or whatever, but we will be a comprehensive review of the constitution so that we cannot be going back and forth all the time. And there has been a setup of certain people that get responsibility for present certain um, of the recommendations for compilation so that it can be for onward submission to the authorities, so that the authorities will able to look at their recommendations and they take into consideration all the ones that they don't pass into law, let we get something where we work towards. So there are, it is not a situation where that Lume Peace Accord is dead and buried. It is up and alive and active and we still go by waiting on that commitment. I want everybody to take into consideration that that agreement been presented to the Parliament of Sierra Leone, and the Parliament may approve them. So it, it lives with we as one of the laws that we allow we 
So he, he gets the duty, the Attorney General gets the duty and the responsibility to make sure actions be taken on that. Because we are almost done with a, a whole generation on that. If you think 23 years or 24 years or thereabout, a generation is about 20 years. We've done with a whole generation. We are still grappling with it. So we want now as government on committees left in the big five to so we finish at this time. So that is the position so far. Thank you very much. Just so in a nutshell. <laughs> well, you pass over the clap, eh? Aha. Uh -huh. So in a nutshell, the tweets that collect government look at the white paper will be the launch in December for update them, upgrade them for the things that we will say government may not pass, they will not pass it, and they will take next steps. And then next steps then they and they will put them together now for cabinet cabinet and the public will know the next step that the government will do. We also know say we get to see Sanaya we are the executive secretary for independent commission for peace national cohesion. We after the elections then we also be engaged for post-elections stakeholders engagement. We include Boku 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 people there. And out of the people there, they also include political parties there. And one of them political parties that we, we bought ourselves at the APC, we then we engage them back lengthily on many of the things that we are concerned and for see how we will start the, the dialogue process and for continue for schedule governance. So we go with Sister Naya, we don't be part of this process. We will just give you a summary of a rundown of after the elections, which they don't do. A post out there now because last week they also presented a report of the findings and commission to the president. So you will take me through. I was the man. Elections. 
the election is not done. Yes, we all know that. But we know, say, even after the elections, but putting them no um, go as all my ones, including people there who say they're not still they participate in governance. Against that background, they and understanding will roll and we mandate as peace commission. We will then firstly start for engage the two main political parties there, the APC and the SLPP. We try for talk to them. For the SLPP, one of the things that we, we keep talking to them and for them we understand how we go continue to put this message. So if you know we, now you can begin to push the peace message around. Then I shall say we all will notice say that allow our in that social media it don't stop though. Eh? Now they all day the dialogue, peaceful one um, in their own way. In October day, we also engage the APC. APC party, we do a lot of individual engagements for us. You know, so for the loss, now you are taking one. That's the normal. Eh? If you say, say, where you not come first in a class, you go jealous the one we come first and the one we come second. <coughs> and you go one, you go one for business the next day. Well, now the same thing. Um, APC not be happy, so we also try to talk to them both separately until finally we'll be able to bring them come together and do a fact-finding mission. Although we understand, we don't see some the press release, they will not be scattered all over the place um, and raise their concern, but we want to get up from the horse's mouth. So we have to go there and go meet them, and they'll be very accommodating, they'll be a very pleasant atmosphere, I will say that, very friendly. Go remember to all our brother and sister. One way or the other, we all interrelated, whether by tribe or by religion or whatever. So we will we'll be enjoying the meeting peacefully and next up the table, all the concerns that we then get concerning post elections and elections. And we tell them, say, okay, we're not taking you all don't care do this, but we're not going to tap there. We go share this with the opposition. But one of the things where they tell me that I'm meeting there, they no not get problem with SLPP. They don't get problem with Madabio president. Waiting, they get problem with like, the government of Salon. So they want for dialogue with the government of Salon and not so with SLPP. So against that background, they will say, okay, if not that one wants, then on a message, not to the chairperson of SLPP, we will care that go to. We will care on a message and all on a concern them to the president of the Republic of Sierra Leone, which now exactly that we will do um, about two weeks ago, less than two weeks ago actually, we will go in a state house as a commission, which we chairperson, we lead the process, and we board members and a few of the staff there. We take this message and we can uh, go and we'll tell the president exactly what is the main concern. One of the key concerns when one of the things that we gladly want for all that talk of where we talk, they say they're ready for Sidon and talk. They're willing for Sidon at the table and talk with the government of Salon so that they will bridge the gap and work in the interest of Salon. We tell them, say, okay, fine, we're ready for work with you now. So I want this work for go on. They say they want international people then for cast Sidon and mediate with we, the Peace Commission, between the government of Salon and the APC government. We tell them, say, fine, we don't have to say, but because now the government of Salon, we need authority from the government of Salon for bringing international people and come for come mediate. So that now is part of the thing that we tell president about, say, the need and uh, waiting with man called Habitat, then for can't do and talk this case between the Peace Commission. And President said we do a press release after that and in response to we 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 visit Stolam and he said he highlights that, that he willing for later international people they have to come, cast down and get a conversation with uh, between the two. And then we all sit down. This commission now we take the lead. Now we always don't begin to take the lead by this as state institution make we work with the international people. Because the president's been giving that go ahead day for making the international people they can't, 
Quick, quick one, because we know how we stay. We don't tell all through the party they say, why they talk of party with two people there. Now, so then they talk about mediation. So you know what I mean? Say that the SMPP are the party to, and the party still to the government of Salon. We tell them two different parties they also say, we don't ready for make this thing move. Quick, quick one. So immediately we contact the Commonwealth, we contact the AU, and we also contact the ECOWAS. And I want to tell everybody say, then keep people here so we don't talk to them. They say they're willing for calm, na salon, and for calm dialogue, for calm act the peace commission. Because government give you the mandate for make we write to them, not to government write to them. So we are not saying that the peace commission will do all this. So we write to them, and they say they're willing for calm, for calm dialogue with, um, with me. So now this process we did now, and um, some even give me dates where they're ready for calm, because we propose dates, they give me dates, and um, we will work on that after they talk to you right now for make sure say um, they can. Because I know some man not, they don't book their tickets on for which now Mama Salon for can talk this case. Now they we day right now after they talk to you. We also they get behind the scenes meeting for make sure say all man are ready and we're ready for can table this talk and we talk this talk so that all the concerns that will come at the table, people that will witness what they say and how we go out the international people then will not say all the problems are not going to solve one thing, one thing. Because we also don't develop the methodology as a commission, how we expect the, this negotiation to go. We don't say something that they wait for solve one thing, one thing, something that a medium term goal, and something that a long term we will solve them. So that's so we don't program them. So that when they come, then September will go and roadmap, then September will put things in the category how they want them, and then September will decide how they will solve the problem. We, the habitat, then not only work for hotel layout for solve the problem, now then two, the two parties then, they for sit down and agree how they will resolve their problem there. So if I want to tap the talk, then yeah, so we then now at Peace Commission for ensure the peace maintain our own Thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh, like, I was say, the dialogue now between APC and the government of Sierra Leone, also between APC and SLPP. And also the dialogue will be led by the Peace Commission supported by the international partners and Commonwealth, ECOWAS, and the EU. So um, we can now come to Alpha Khan, AK11, for my give me short updates and summary of what is happening the presidency, and a few comments then before we go to the first set of questions. Then. We will be on start in the next five minutes. So over to you, Alpha Khan. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, Deputy Minister for Information and Civic Affairs. Good afternoon, all. My name is Journalist in Good afternoon. I'm glad you for the idea once more. Particularly in the panel inside. All the four issues we have done put across. Starting from the Ministry for Public Administration and Political Affairs, I mean, on the assessment. Although it was not called so then, but of course, the mandate being the cover aspect of that, we call the establishment. Not to be easy, Ministry. It's tough. But I know, say, the Minister will have done the primary calm, the capacity, capability, and ability to make him care and move forward. The issue of the CRC, I did from the beginning. I did even from the conception of the 1991 Constitution. So I did again when we review this act. 
Because then, you know, the member of parliament, when later, Mr. Peter Tucker, with the head of the commission, we did meet our panels. So we know the progress. And also, when the white people come to the government we are be part of them, and most of them And when the president then, Dr. Anastasia Kuruma, set up the own CRC review committee, of those 80 members, maybe they represent the APC now. So I know that. And the ICPMC all started from the Bin to Mali 3, where the president will be called. Because when they come in 2018, the very first thing we do, November of that year, we call all the Mali Mali country, so the same representatives. I don't let the member we come to the country, we seem to reduce them apart. And so they're a small country. Now look, I am here to see how we can resolve A lot of people don't know. But from the APC, I mean, no more. But apart from that, we still bring in some takeaways. And I take away the name, make sure, say, the ICPNC. Now it is in place. And look at the good work we're doing now. All the tensions we apart because we for me that is really not much to do to talk about. Tension are we create We will deal with different sides. Then go the fan way. But then the brief gap. We are always the toxic. Coming from Musade, if they can't from Musade, I want to be a bridge. And the bridge is what we need in Seven Way. And I think say the ICPNC could be the vector, the carrier. For that. So congratulate you. So the SG, I believe say you don't almost highlight aspects of the CRC recommendation before. We don't turn into acts of parliament and then become law. Which means we are not averse to improving the governance system through the constitution. So that basis. And as I'm a president, which for me, I see I was a lot of violent president. He actually sticks to the constitution. Anytime you speak to President Mada Bill, or ask him to even check relevant sections of the constitution, he doesn't want to step aside, step out of that constitution. And we are very lucky. Some presidents throw the constitution away. And do it in a month. This one and one way to keep it. <laughs> you like it or not, give it to him. Yes. When he was a soldier, he was a leader. In three months, he handed over. I said, This is not my time. Let the constitution reign. And he did that. So, a man like that, not to force him, we expect him to be a dictator. He will be an autocrat. Or he will be, be what you call, somebody who really, they just run the country the way he wants. And when he came back the second time, <coughs> the very first speech we make, when the notes were running, after the election results, he said, I'm sending a many branch, and he called me brother, Dr. Samuel Kumar. I did call him by name. I was surprised. So he came no come for Sierra Leone. This election don't know. And by all intents and properties, we are all denied on my case. And also one journalist with his hand talks in, the election was not free, was not fair, was not credible, was not transparent. I must see that at all. And that's a fact. And then we lost when we found the presidential elections after 2022. Tell you say when the results have been announced by the body, the head of the body will be a power eh, from the constitution, i.e. the ECSL. Any citizen, any citizen, whilst you are a registered voter in Sierra Leone, if you have issues with that election, you have seven days within which you can make 
il complet nous tout et à ce que nous avons. Including the opposition, including the Samurai Kamara, no provision, no provision, no provision of the Supreme Court. So it means 8 million of us cannot be wrong. We all say the election will be free, fair, and transparent. But they call the executive secretary of the ICPNC saying, if you replace the policy, he lost on that game, but we have to watch more. <laughs> So it's very difficult for them in just God to say, so we will take for you, so you don't give me money back to the face. However, now that the ICPNC don't begin to break their eyes, don't begin to stretch out, because this is the offer for that one, then it's a no reason out. Not to have a cup of out, and I wouldn't go there. Because now they would too say I am one sided, but I'm not. And I still stand there. Now, can you say what you want? Now, peace for We're coming to the details of what President Bill did right now. When he does set up in government after the elections, or still setting it up, which I keep telling people, the President Jack, not to easy Jack. First of all, the appointment, not a small number of people they get for appointment, 966. So we still can't with that. That kind of thing is difficult for to me, I don't want to understand. Because every night we lie down in the room, but we would have to tell them, we would have to be so to lie down, there are so many interests. But with that, you have to be ambidextrous, you have to be a parallel processor. You would have to be with your own problems where you get at that time. And running the country at the same time, because if running the country can't wait, it has to carry on. So Senator has been running. Chief Minister, they run up and down, they go and check how all the ministers, they work. The uh, Ministry of Internal Affairs, they look after the security of the country. Defense, they live for any external incursion. And of course, we, in state house, we then begin to the support for Cairo. The last two weeks, the audiences they will get. The audiences they will get. Today I'm going to spokesman. What are you going to do? What does talk to call me? So, so the, 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 the audience system we don't take, the particular one that we are think is important to know, now this APNC will can present the report, in don't give you already a rundown. But then also, the president will meet with the power managers, the heads of the power managers, the, the, the National Council for Power Managers, the local community president. And what did he do? We got 119 or so chitons in the country. The president will say, I then cheat them and they put together, and they make the one more ceremony. So now he has this big five, don't can handle that into them, especially the farming, the agriculture, so they will feed salmon. So we don't do that one. But of course, we don't get some external incursion, pressures we don't come. The first one was last week, sorry, the week before that, the ICC. We write letter, we request a meeting for his, with His Excellency the President, when he goes to the United Nations General Assembly. But I believe Sina now understands say it was a request. So we no need for relay of that. When they go, when the President gets time, he go meet with a lot of people, including maybe carrying a, a can case of the ICC. But then the other thing we happen with is that uh, we receive on the 31st of August a press statement from the uh, uh, State Department for say, because the State Department believes say, small UQK will play by the election, and at the same time, some people in the will be the threats and others, will they intimidate us, will they cost other people them, for many afraid for going to exercise their rights and all that, which means they're not targeting anybody, as they say. They're not targeting the people of Australia, not the government. Now, people will then believe. 
saying that they do that. Now then they say they not go they go restrict them if they ask for visa to go visit the country. When I don't hear and the Anglo believe say we all understand now where it stands. And only nobody now when you go, now you go no. So if I reach there, <laughs> if I reach there, they don't speculate. Now they write, if you say you want to go to Togo, I say go to Togo, go to Togo, I say talk to you. You know? So if that is the case, we will not let you now. We will sit down. We yeah, are wait there for any questions. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Um, like on the last one, we say um, not to against the government of Sierra Leone or the people, but also also the first step. Remember, say in September 2017, there will also be time for do visa restriction for the issuance of visas. Um, you know, we so not to say in uh, the first step, then see any happen. But government is committed. Um, for advance with democracy, government is committed for make, to make sure say we review the electoral system and make the president be not appointed the vice president for lead that committee day. and the committee right now we can do boku boku work for put the concept together and do some consultation together and also we look forward to the dialogue because the vice president and the committee also feel say once the dialogue also not complete it's also good for also include APC inside the review of the electoral system because that's a good idea for our for we also for improve. Not so just for look at what's the easiest thing they do, but also look at what's the election bodies that they do. So for instance, how the media they cover election, the security sector, PPRC they work. So it's a comprehensive uh, review of the electoral system, not just ECS. And we get questions that we get ask, so we will go through that quickly. Before we come to journalists that we are, um, I will run through the questions then. Uh, then I will probably assign that we could take four minutes for them for specific people then. And this one starts first for the Minister of Public Affairs. They say, for Philip, this other one that we ask online. Philip say, as a concerned Serenan, please, why is our president so weak in taking action against the so called foreign ambassadors? like that of the US, UK and the EU. Well, um, President Snowwick, remember say we get relationship with we, um, other countries then. We are a partnership of equals and of sovereignty. We mean say any ambassador with there, for instance, the US ambassador, he represents the president of the United of, of States. The High Commissioner of UK with there, and they represent the Prime Minister and the government. So I think, say, President, the two the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and they relate with them at that level. And also, another question we they ask. I'll make a go through them quickly. Then from Abu Immanuel Koma, he say, how do we hold people in public offices <coughs> accountable when they fail us as a nation? That day, sometimes we left uh, the minister for talk about that very quickly. And from this anonymous, he say, is the new bridge going to ever actualize as was planned by HD president? And I will left one to uh, one, one, one minute to the one day. We next talk to the president. And Matilda Ikan Sonsiama. It is said, Mr. Kalong, don't you think the public service, starting from the PSC downwards, needs total cleaning of the old folks and allow fresh graduates? He said, Matilda, the say, Mr. Kalong, just as our HEBO have decided to use more young people in governance. It would be wise if you and the PSC do likewise. And then uh, John Bosin, they say, why is it that government late for paying the fee subsidies for first term fees paid in second term, likewise uh, for the other terms? And then um, they also ask any questions that we, from Anonymous, they say from last year, the topic of digitization has been the big topic in Parliament. Please, I want to know why we can't achieve this as a nation. 
And then other person anonymous say, Mr. Deputy Minister, I want to know how the Fix Alone project is going to start. Uh, time is going, I culture is in deal. And uh, we get to start now. Other person they say our national commitment for development must be commonplace for collective essential responsibility in our respective zones and our comments. One anonymous person back they say, I actually want to know why the president is refusing to upgrade the southern part, especially Moyamba, Bon, and Bujon, which are the most remote districts. And then another person they say, what is the government doing to caution the effect on extreme hardship facing the country, especially with the subsidy going on? And then the last one, um, they say, Minister Kalong, I don't have the chairmanship of APRM since last year, and it is for two years' tenorship. Can you please shed light on its impact? Um, I will just start quickly, I will just go quickly with few of the things there. On government subsidy. Now, government pay subsidies then for last academic year with the exception of the third term. And for Ministry of Finance, then don't inform me say that the third term subsidy for schools, they will pay them in the next two weeks, either this week or next week. And also government, school have just open. So government subsidy normally for the first time, government they wait, say the schools they don't do the enrollment. So we know almost speaking in a school, almost schools the government don't approve. So when they put all together, they can inform government subsidies. So now so government there for use for this first time we do. But for the third term, we in our last academic year, government will pay in the next two weeks. And then for agriculture, I also want to tell and say the minister and the partner and they put together a document for make their launch the fit salon program. And I he informed me say he want to do them next month. When and how the ten reach, I will also make on another one day. And then the one for the waiting may government they refuse for upgrade the south and part when I'm born and Pujon. And I for no say in the last five years, government implement Bokoku projects then. Na Moyamba, na Bo, na Pujon. For instance, we don't say government do some work on it. CLSG on the lights. Na Bo, they also do an Moyamba. Government also the Mabang Bridge na Moyamba. And government also the habitat. Boku schools then the health facilities. So to that possible indeed government not they refuse for upgrade government they do plenty of work na the southern parts, but also across the country. Na the north, na the western area and also na the east. So I will stop there so far for allow uh, the minister for just answer to the few questions the director have just one minute. Well, thank you very much, uh, 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 Mr. Mr. Minister. Uh, the first question, I think government has a lot of structures that we don't set in place for who need to be asked accountable, working for the, the public servants, including the president himself. We get the audits, and we must the audit a lot of the structures that we have not set for audit and who need to be asked accountable. Within the system itself, they go to the call performance appraisals, so they use, we staff them, then they, before the, the year they begin, then they come up, say, and see what we want to do. And each staff within the system, they look at what they want to do, and then go to your activities and define them well, define the way indicators. And then they make sure they any trade they do for fill the July indicators. By the end of the year, then they do staff appraisal and based upon the things that we say they do. And that is they use also for, for assess you if you succeed. At the ministerial level, we go to call the performance appraisal also. We say they don't do it right now. We don't already to begin with the activities they will set for next year and the, the deliverables, the indicators. And if we then the follow it and see if we if we, if we achieve them. At the parliament, we go for the parliamentary accounting committee. We also they look at the call MDAs, the institutions that we come and ask the questions about what we do. So there are various layers of uh, structures that we government set in place for all the various accounting. We have the ACC and the corruption commission also. We did. We also get the the how they call up the the ombudsman. 
another accountability tool we then use again. We have Liga, we lock. We lock is another accountability tool again. So we have various, depending on waiting at the issues at hand, we have various structures we detect across the country for who to get us accountable. Um, APRM, the president two years back, when they appointed him as the chair of the APRM, and in June, in January 2024, they relinquished the position as the chair for the another region in Africa for the world. Five targets will be set for the president. Number one, we say we want to get universal accession to the APR, meaning all the 54 countries of the EU, we want to really assist to the, to the APR. Number two, we want to improve on partnerships so that the APR will not, not to go assign a lot of partnership parts with donor partners, and then we will support the drive for implement Agenda 2063 of all the agenda in Africa we want with the seven aspirations there. Another one also we then we have to train up for celebrating the 20 years of the APR of the APR. Yeah. And the fourth one, my colleague Sierra Leone, as the chair of the APR, do a second country generation review. We will only the first one in 2015, we are the base. Now we can do the second generation review. How far we have gone? We almost don't get out of the the 54 countries, I don't four countries now that we don't see to the to the APR. So within the new time, we don't get it out of the 12 we did, we don't, we don't assist. And then in a strong discussion with the president, we get with the president and they finally assist. Second is a data to me partnership. Now the APR means most of one of the institutions that we will look at the largest pool of donor partners when we look at various projects across Africa inside these two years. The 20th anniversary, now March and before Hula, but as a result of varying things that we have, we have a political change of government in Africa, we will see the, the, the come up across Africa. So the, 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 the president during that period, 20, in 2022, the acts in PRZ at the African Union that let them change the African governance report team from uh, uh, looking at uh, the fourth industrial revolution of Africa to looking for a constitutional change of government in Africa. So they will do a, they will do how would you call a targeted review in 15, in 12 countries in Africa, and that reported up from the president of report and the peers. Syria will say, "My God, this is our next country to report to you." By November, we will celebrate the 20th anniversary of APR in South Africa. We the president will be say, "Sir, we for the 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 key uh, celebrant." Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I would just ask Alfa Dan for just for the movie which one is. Yes, President still committed to the new research. Only one is not it. No, what's it was happening? Because the new research was happening, there is no beginning made the foundation. So we are ready to hit the road. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And also on the digitalization as well, I make President open and establish a new ministry for communications, innovation, and technology because President committed to that one. So we'll take questions then from the all now. Uh, we can start. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we start with you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, my question, permit me, sir, for two questions. One, sir, one, sir. Yes, one question. No, I'm very good. Yeah, okay, let me go to the Solicitor General. So, uh, the next one for the uh, Madam, I'll, I'll, I'll prefer to meet at the office. Right? Um, Solicitor General, sir, I've just received uh, uh, an information here that um, nobody doubts you when you're heading um, a constitutional review because you won 95% of the cases at the High Court of Commission of Inquiry. Then again, you represented Sweden as the case between some Sumana and the government of Sweden, and it's what they wanted. Now, make I ask you, <laughs> is the talk of, is the talk of uh, another constitutional review, despite to this very constitutional review that we need to make the hands, you talk of comprehensiveness, but if this still be comprehensive, despite the change of generation, the change of times, and the change of behavior and all that? <laughs> Thank you very much. The next question is for you, sir. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Solomon Ray Wilson, I'm editor of our Supreme newspaper. The question I want to thank um, 
we able on um, services of general for giving we uh, uh, historical information on how the constitutional review process all starts and how the level of action is taken so far. But I just want to make it go back to me and tell from what will be the significance of having a new constitution. Thank you very much. Keep our shots. So, 
because of the salary disparity. So working with the Bank of Canton to harmonize that salary so that you get a uniform salary across grades and sectors. So for example, who do you rate with the vice president in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the judicial, in the legislation, in the Minister of Agriculture? Who do you rate with the vice president? Who do you rate with ministers? Who do you rate with parliamentarians across the board, across sectors? Once you don't that grade, they don't do you. You don't you grade it, don't do you. you, you, you details them. Then now if you run them across, you know, say, I don't need for day that the Minister of Agriculture is our, for them to get the same salary. We don't need for them that the grade is a different area, we work at different sectors, we get the same salary. So that's what the was the confirmation of the Thank you. Yeah, um, thank you. I think I get three questions, but I will reduce them to two because one and two, they deal with comprehensiveness and significance of having a new constitution. I have no mandate or authority to talk about whether the commission is new or old. With the talk of constitutional review, we the review the constitution, maybe substantially or whatever, but that definitely will come out as we all go see. And the significance of that definitely we all have a say we get lacuna, we get certain holes in the constitution. We we need for adherence and that we always they won't go to the Supreme Court quick. I think if I could recollect from 2004, the special court to date, we're always in the Supreme Court every year, I'll tell you for sure. Every year from the setting up of the special court to date, we're always in the Supreme Court. Those are things we don't get enough experience in, and we think to say this time we want to put most of those experiences practically into the Constitution and see how it works. We also get the issue of um, what is lacking and the implementation of the Constitution or whatever specific reference to the environment. We have the Environmental Act. It's going to strengthen when we get some thing in the Constitution talking about the environment specifically and detailed to the effect that it empowers the Act for being very strong. So it becomes a constitutional issue when you are environmentally unfriendly. We know now that is the book of the world. We they talk about energy, we they talk about everything, climate change and the rest of it. And we cannot stand in, the, in this century without having something in the constitution that will save the future generation. So that is very important why make it come into constitution. Thank you very much. And the question on the SLDC, obviously we don't see on social media say Boku Boku allegations then they um, we they don't make um, in a lawyer and uh, for all of them see um, allegation, everybody gets presumption of innocence. So it means say that uh, what we do when the allegations are concerned, then they come. The minister will try for contact this is going to do a forensic audit for no we say everything they have inside it. When they're done, and we say they will get back to the ministry for them we move on. And um, I think say because of the commitment to the time. Um, we want for make we get last round of, of everybody now on the air for make them able to do the last word before they left. So we start with the only woman among the from the executive secretary Wena Awasima. Well, we want to tell all man say. Now one day salon we get, and we will be proud of the salon because the Global Peace Index don't tell me say now we are the third most peaceful country in Africa, and it means say we far more peaceful than we neighbors them, whether Guinea or Liberia. So if anything happen, if you go, if they go in our friendly environment, salon safe past them. So now you and me, we all responsibility for make sure say. We keep salon peaceful. One of the key things that what we can do now for watch what we post on social media and how we communicate on social media. Because that now one of the biggest battleground right now in terms of journalism, ideologies and everything. So if you want make salon go before and continue for shine, you for make sure say you send out peaceful message. As journalists, I even see on a on a um, on a annual um, uh, AGM, they come 
this weekend and we think that peace and national cohesion. So we are going to take the message day out for me. National reconciliation is key and also peace is key for foster development in Mama Salon. And not forget for the play for Salon. It's key. Thank you. Minister? Yeah, um, thank you very much. Uh, I got one for me. Everybody knows uh, the reform of this nature is, in, is all out inclusive. The constitutional review part of the, of the review of the public administration. The issue about peace, hopefully the independent commission will be part of the public administration. The appointment with president they do at the scene and social media people in the scene. They do they do appoint Gary specialists, they do appoint paper specialists, for people who you know they are attached to have to be serious about our country. If we are talking if, if we are talking about moving this nation, they will therefore begin to talk about specialization. And agriculture is about specialization. You get forget people who specialize. For example, we go to Ghana, and I give you a typical example, the Minister of Energy, which go to the meet different directors. You get director for solar energy, you get director for thermal energy, you get director for, for wind energy, you get director for this type of energy. So you get specialization. People may wait exclusively slow for study a specific one and make sure they can promote them with it with as a trademark. The same thing in agriculture and Ghana, where we get to go specialists, so we don't know in whole life that we go in and come up with different varieties and different value chain uh, activities that we permit them to go to go and make them one of the things that we face, export, we face uh, GDP to the country. And this is what we are, it's part, and all of the happens, it's part of the public, the reform of the public administration. We need move to a different trend where we look at specialization, and that is the guy we have this movement of the civil service. Specialization, would I in charge of picture, would I in charge of this, would I in charge of that? So that when you go to the office, you make different specialities then, when you go say now you talk with them, you will look you something we will use for you to push your agenda moving forward. So I want to say thank you and then we also know ready for support is going to be a massive reform, but I know since we can do it because we don't do it before. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Minister. We move to the SG before we exit to move Thank you, um Chair. Yeah. The the only thing we would have for just reiterate in our own minds that let we give support to the constitution for let we make them a reality this time. The constitution is not just about few people. Now for protect every Sierra Leonean, you are very right. Now that document the protector. And sitting here today, for those who sit down in peace, will not be fair to yourself. Now that document is responsible for that. For those who define Sierra Leone and still say we are Sierra Leoneans, now that document is responsible for that. The absence of the constitution, now a chaotic society we will get. With the one that will, will only survive and the one that will get gain power and might. So because of that, now a secret document to every Sierra Leonean. Let we just encourage and support government in this move so we can deal with it once and for all. Clearly, with the questioner, we ask the public service, uh, public administration, to say, perhaps, say, in a time this now for the young people, they say, to get the enter into important positions. President don't lead. President believes say we get talent among the young people. But the young people themselves, they will believe in themselves. We will make sure say they know they open themselves to all sorts of unfair and unnecessary commentaries when they come out on social media. The fact that you don't come up with the two stories when somebody is rising a fallacious story, when are they left, when I feel wide open for let people them incur into whom I own feel, when I own space, as specialists mm -hmm. in this field, the media mm -hmm. will not agree. Because social media now, they wait more on professional journalists. We must just take the pen and fight against it. Make we get peace in our You are the opinion leaders. People listen to you. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, so we will end on the post. We just asked about the archive. 
uh, government care, government concern. It means anything will increase any price that is costly. It means we will look at all the options there. And we will look at what the least thing we will achieve. And even now, the only fuel, government still, they subsidize. Because if government subsidize, it means they will have a long pay for the higher that we need now. On that note, I want to tell all the panelists that thank you. All I said, thank you in watching it. We'll come back to the next week with our program, Government Weekly Press Release. Government Weekly Press Conference. Thank you.